the Windows Sidebar. In this lesson, we'll discuss the purpose of the Windows Sidebar. We'll talk about how we can customize the Sidebar. We'll discuss working with gadgets. And we'll show you how you can turn the Sidebar off and then back on again. OK, so let's get started. So to start with, what is the Windows Sidebar? Well, it's this grouping of applications over here to the right. Sometimes you just need a mini set of applications available to you quickly. For example, in this case, a clock, a picture viewer, the news. The sidebar gives you access to these things by providing mini applications called gadgets. The gadgets you immediately see are interchangeable with other gadgets, and we'll take a look at how you can do that. But you'll notice, if we put our cursor over any one of the gadgets, you'll see that a little footpad appears over here to the right. Now we can select the X to turn a particular gadget off. We can select the wrench in order to make changes to a particular gadget. So if we select the wrench for the clock, you'll notice that it gives us the option of choosing other clocks. Or we can give the clock a name, change the time zone, show the second hand. So there's quite a bit we can do with that gadget. And the same is true of every gadget that we put up. Each gadget will have its own settings that can be changed. Now in addition, you'll notice the little footpad that we can grab and we can now move our gadgets wherever we'd like on our sidebar. Or we can move them out and place them out on our desktop. Most people prefer to keep their gadgets in one place though, so we're going to put our clock right back there. Now you might be wondering, well, can I add other gadgets to my Windows sidebar? Of course you can. If you select this little button here, the plus sign, it shows you all of the gadgets that are available to you. So for example, I like this one here, the notepad. If I double click it, it puts the notepad here. Now you might be wondering, what happened to the news options? Well, depending on your screen resolution, the news options are still there, they're just hidden. If I decide to get rid of one of these other gadgets, you'll see the news options come right back. You can see that there's a calendar, currency, there's stocks and weather, and, if you'd like, you can get more gadgets online. This will take you online to a website that provides you other gadgets that have been created for your use. Now, if you'd like to change the Windows Sidebar properties themselves, there's two different ways you can access those. One way is by opening Control Panel. And here if we type in Sidebar, you see it brings up the Windows Sidebar properties. So that's one way. The other way is to right click the icon in the system tray and select properties. Now logically if your sidebar is not up and running you won't see this little icon. So to turn the Windows sidebar on you would have to go through your control panel. Now if you want the Windows sidebar to come up every time you start Windows you would select this option here. Start sidebar when Windows starts. You can change the arrangement of the sidebar. For example by default the sidebar will slip into the background when you're working on other documents. But if you select this option, sidebar is always on top of other windows, well, then the sidebar will stay on top. It will push your applications a little bit to the left so you can always see your sidebar. You can choose to display the sidebar on the right or left side of the screen. Most people prefer it on the right, but the choice is yours. And if you have multiple monitors, you can choose to display the sidebar on a different monitor. This maintenance link here, if we select that, shows us the gadgets that we currently have running and we can remove them if we'd like. But that's just a more complicated way of simply selecting the little X here to turn a gadget off. And of course, if you have any other questions on how to customize the Windows sidebar, there's a link right here that'll take you into the help files. So we hope you found that helpful, and thanks for viewing.